What you consider yourself to be is just a concept you have about yourself. To know the real you, you have to go beyond this conception of yourself. That's a completely different thing. It is a spiritual process to break free from this physical body. But, I know many of you are not interested in that right now. Your only concerns are about how to manifest your desires. And in this video, I will show you how easy it is to manifest your desire. Manifestation is a practice in which a person directs their thoughts and emotions in one direction for an extended period of time. After that, the thing they desired appeared in their physical reality. When someone experiences this for the first time, they think that it is some kind of magic. But, trust me, it is not like that. Because of our logical minds, it appears to be magic. Our minds want an explanation for everything. But how manifestation happens cannot be understood by our minds, because they can only perceive the physical. Since manifestation is about using our imagination to a certain degree, and imagination is not a physical thing, the idea of manifesting something in our reality seems like an impossible task at first. But when we use our imagination consciously, we go beyond the limitations of our physical senses. We just have to become what we desire to be in our imagination and stay there for longer periods of time. By doing so, it leaves an impression on that part of our mind, which manifests things in our reality. As we sustain this feeling of having our wishes fulfilled, it gets manifested in our reality. If you look at reality, you will notice that the only difference between you and me is our belief. On the inside, we are the same. Everything in this world is made up of five elements, water, earth, fire, air, and space. Our realities seem to be different because of the ideas that we have identified ourselves with. These ideas form our self-concepts, which in turn make us behave in one way or another. We think according to the concepts we hold about ourselves. In this physical plane, our bodies and minds behave according to the concepts we hold about ourselves. Therefore, if your goal in this life is to achieve something physical, your concept of self must be in alignment with that goal. Suppose you want to manifest lots of wealth. Now, the definition of a lot would be different for me and for you. Just as this is different for both of us, the feeling of having it would also be different. Now, when Neville Goddard says to assume the feeling of the wish being fulfilled, he talks about the feeling of having it. What is that feeling? Just sit with yourself and feel that you already have it. You must now live in this feeling. You must hold it until it becomes a dominant feeling within you. There is a mood, a feeling of the wish being fulfilled, somewhere within this realm of imagination, which, if appropriated, means success to you. Don't get concerned about the details, they will be taken care of. In my journey, I have experienced that becoming meditative helps me a lot. And to start with, it is not law of attraction stuff. Becoming meditative is one thing that will surely give you diamonds in your life. There are many different practices that can help you become meditative, and the one that helps me a lot is just to witness my breath. Sitting in a comfortable position and focusing my attention on my breath, I notice when it enters and leaves my body. Nothing more is important to me than just performing this. When you do it initially, your mind will give you all kinds of stupid ideas about how you are wasting your time, but it is not a waste of time. Breathing is one of the most fundamental aspects of life. Without it, you cannot be alive. Just pay attention to it. You will learn many things about life as you are now connected to it. The first thing it will do is give you clarity. The second thing it will do is keep your attention focused. Clarity about what you want and keeping your attention unwaveringly on the state of wish fulfillment are both necessary to manifest your desire. I believe that we should do things wholeheartedly or not at all. Doing things half-heartedly only creates confusion. I adopt this policy of living in extremes. Either I do it with all my heart or I do not do it at all. There is no in-between. Either I live in a state where my wish is granted, or I do not. In either case, I am successful. So, manifesting is not a difficult thing, it is not hard. All it takes is a change within, and when you do, everything else changes. As this inside and outside is only one happening, nothing is separate from you. So, just sit in a practice of meditation, there are different ways to do it. If you want to become independent, practice meditation. You will automatically receive all the answers. I think this video gave you the clarity that you were seeking and showed you how easy it is to manifest. Subscribe because I post such videos regularly. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting!